how's things? I have a deal to suggest. If you make Aaron leave the chest alone, I'll give you ten ore. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. What are you doing here? I'm watching diggers like snipes over there to make sure they keep their hands off my chest. Ian sent me. You should go to see him at once. What does he want? No idea. Ian will tell you that himself. Do you think he'd tell me something like that? Then I'll go to see him. You owe me ten ore. Yeah, you've already earned the ten ore. Oh, and one more thing. I have the key to his chest as well. For you, only thirty ore. Give me the key. You made good business there. I just wonder what you get out of it. I'm always glad when I can get one over on the guards. And if they found the content of the chest with me, I'd be a dead man. I'll see you later. Yeah, sure. I'll see you later. Yeah. What's in the storeroom? That's none of your business. Standing around for so long must make you thirsty. You bet, man. I could use a good swig now. Got anything on you? Here you go. Have one on me as well. Thanks. Is there anything special in the storeroom now? Some chest that we store supplies in. The keys disappeared, though. Disappeared? I bet Aleph was involved. That guy can't be trusted. about the key for the chest and the storage shed? Well, that depends. On how much ore I'll give you? You learn fast. Is 15 ore all right with you? 15 ore? Uh, I don't know anything about a key. 30 ore should be enough. All right. I happen to have the key here. Good luck. Well, you know where to find me.
Listen, Ian and the others are sitting at the bottom, having grilled meat. What? Without me? Well, I'll collect my share. If you try to make a fool out of me again, you've had it. You got that? Hey, don't you miss the key to your chest? Indeed. I don't even want to guess how or why you know about the key. But I'll give you 20 ore if you get it back for me. Here's your key. Yeah, that's it. Well, here's your 20 ore like we agreed. But you'd better watch out in future. From now on, I'll be keeping an eye on you. Hey, you, there was no grilled meat at all. Oh, um, I guess I must have been mistaken. Have a good day. I'll just have a... Don't make any trouble. Can I trade things with you? Yep, anything you want, if you have ore. Are you Ian, the boss of the mine? Yeah, I'm Ian, and this is my mine, so don't touch or break anything. Isn't that Gomez's mine? Yeah, of course, this is the mine of the old camp. But in here, there's only one boss, and that's me. Can you tell me something about the ore production here? We dig for ore day and night. This means a storage of 200 sacks per month and another 20 sacks which will be melted down. Hundreds of blades can be forged with the ore we supply to the gang. I've heard that the ore has magical qualities. Tell me about it. The magic ore does have special qualities. Weapons forged from it don't break. Their blades are sharper than usual ones. An army equipped with these weapons has a decisive advantage in battle. Tell me more about the ore. Unfortunately, the magic powers of the ore vanish during the smelting process. They know the right smelting technique in the blast furnaces of Nordmar. But even without the magic powers, weapons made from this ore are extremely resistant and do more damage than normal weapons. Tell me about the mine. If you want to look around here, you need to be careful. There are mine crawlers in the caves. You better stay in the main shaft and leave the Templars alone. Even if they only hang around most of the time, they're the best fighters you can ever have at your side when it comes down to the crawlers. I'll keep that in mind. I have some work to do, and don't keep my boys from doing their work. I'll just have a look around here. Diego sent me. I'm to collect the list. All right, here's the list. Tell them to hurry up with the deliveries. I'll just have a look around. Don't make any trouble. A new face. Have you ever dug ore, boy? Have you been here long? I've already been here ten years. Oh, believe me, I've learned and experienced quite a lot here. I've encountered many dangers and managed to stay alive. In the old times, when we worked in the abandoned mine, the one which is deserted now, and the supporting beams collapsed. But that's old stories. You must have heard about many escape plans as well. Listen, boy, I know you want to get out of here, but forget it. You better forget the thought of escape. I saw the faces of those who tried to get out of the barrier. Don't make the same mistake. The barrier will stop everybody. I don't want to dig in the mine for the next ten years of my life. No, you won't. Perhaps you'll be one of the real big shots. <laughs> Who knows? You'll work your way up. But no matter how far you'll get, the barrier will finally stop you. 
Good luck. Same to you, boy. Same to you.